I know that there's a discussion that has to be had, um, mainly because this is something that 2K did out of, I guess, the love of the community. And when, I guess, given the task, there's always a, a issue with putting things inside of video games, right? So when we talk about skill-based matchmaking, most of the time, most video games that are especially yearly don't have the time to put it in certain modes and all of that. Like if it's some, a feature that's being introduced to the game, you probably got to like literally deal with that feature as a bare bones feature. And that's where NBA 2K25 comes in. They decided to put skill based matchmaking into the game. Um, and now every red plate, some gold plates are complaining that they're taking forever to get games in lobby system video game modes or whatever features. Um, I saw this coming, um, a mile away. Um, normally when you have any video game out there, whether it's a shooter a sports game or whatever any multiplayer online video game once you introduce skill-based matchmaking to that game you do one of two things you play the same comp damn near every other game when they go back to the lobby and you go back to the lobby at the same time y'all get matched up again if there's a skill-based matchmaking system where one team leaves like in 2K where they leave the door after losing instead of staying inside that same lobby system. Once they go back in, if they don't take a break, you might end up going up against them again because you're constantly loading, looking for your competition. And the 2K community is mad about that. And the second thing that happens is you wait, you wait, and you keep waiting and you keep waiting until you find a way to go against them goddamn bums. Yeah, I said it. This is when you find that motherfucking time where you go ahead and tell one of your little friends, go ahead and get their ass a little bot account, a little smurf, a like little smurfy like smurf, a little smurf, 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 smurf. And then guess what y'all do? Y'all go in and beat the goofy off them bums because that's what you want to do in the first place. You didn't really want skill-based matchmaking him. You ain't want that. You wanted to beat on that trash. You want that, 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 that. Remember I told you about the trash truck juice? Remember I told you about that? You want that every day. You don't want to take out the trash every week. You want to take out the trash every day, every minute, every hour. That's what you want. But guess what? Now you got skill-based matchmaking. Now you got to wait. Yep. Just like every other video game. Every other multiplayer video game for online has skill-based matchmaking in it. But the way that people negate that is spending money. Yep, you're going to have to spend money. I'm going to tell you why you got to spend money. If you're playing a game like, let's say, Call of Duty, you do, you know what you do? You make a smurf. You know what you do with that smurf? You invite all the heavy hitters with that smurf once it's in the lobby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to tell you what you do. You take it a step further. <laughs> you get a goddamn net Duma. Mm, you don't know what that is. Go ahead and Google that after this video. Mm-hmm. You get yourself a net Duma. You fly to another goddamn country. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You play all the bots on all the lag with the heaviest hitters you ever had. Oh, don't forget you still got that little bot account. But guess what's gonna happen to NBA 2K25? Mm-hmm. It's not enough smurfing in the world that you can do. Anybody play basketball gods this weekend? Anybody? Anybody play basketball gods at all? Oh, if you did, did you hear about the 99 overall with 260 overall build cheese that people was doing to win the goddamn uh, rewards? Not chase the leaderboards. No, nobody cared about the leaderboards. No one cared. I'm talking about getting just six games, six wins with two bum builds and a 99 overall and being unstoppable. That's what we call smurfing. NBA 2K25 has officially, officially had its first ever event riddled with Smurfs. Literal Smurfs. Because this is the thing. You on 
Call of Duty and games like that, you have to get a whole nother account. But 2K is build based. So you can be a red plate on one of your builds and be a black plate on the other. So no, no, no. You don't have to necessarily go get a brand new account from 2K. You got to make another build. And what did I tell y'all would happen when you keep going back and forth with 2K? I told, it's a vicious cycle. You're going to create a build. That build is going to be a black plate. And since you're so freaking good at the game, you know all the meta moves. You have all the meta animations, all the meta builds. How long do you think you're going to be a black plate? Hmm? How long do you think it's going to take for you to get back to that red plate? Because you got there in like four or five days, right? You, you, as soon as 2K came out, you was a red plate in five days and you've been going the fuck through it for a week and a half. The game been out for two weeks, people. But you're going you gonna to create that Smurf build. You're going to put another 100 in it because everybody that got motherfucking red plates better have rebirth, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to spend that hundo just to get games or 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 you're going to pick a couple friends that got Smurf bills that don't really want to put any money into it. That might not really be good at the game. You just tell them to set screens for you and you go off against the competition that you really, really want to play. It's fucked up, right? It's fucked up, right? Now, I got some I got some footage. I got some uh some stuff that I just wanna talk to y'all about, you know? Um make sure y'all go to iPodkingCarter.com. Follow me on all my socials or whatever the case may be, but let's talk about Twitter for a moment. Um Yeah that was crazy that was a crazy tweet, I ain't gonna lie. I put this tweet out less than a day ago. Less than than a day ago, I was definitely engagement farming. I was so engagement farming here with this tweet. Yeah. You think I give a fuck? Um, you think I really care about skill-based matchmaking, guys? Uh, let's be in a in a perfect world, do you think I really give a fuck? Uh, uh, I think I was in I was in motherfucking bum wreck for ages. I care. I put this tweet out and people didn't know where I stood. They didn't know if I was on the fence about it. They didn't know if I was for skill based matchmaking. They didn't know if I was against it. The truth is, I don't care. Yeah, because every time we as a community ask for something and 2K delivers, there's always something a little wrong with what they give us. And now here we have a situation where almost every red plate, you know, whether it's 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, 4, uh, 5v5, almost every red plate is running into an issue where there's no competition out there. And this is a problem because not everyone can make it to red plate. I'm just going to be honest with you. Not everyone can do it. There's a lot of gold plates out there. Don't get me wrong. A lot of gold plates. But not everyone can make it to a red plate. So once you become the top echelon tier of any video game, like I said, you go against the same people every time. And if those people don't decide to load up in your lobby, you'll wait. Yes, you'll wait. So I asked, so who asked for skill-based matchmaking for NBA 2K games? I just, this is just a general broad question. This person said it was you, bruh. Literally, chat. He said it was me. He literally said it was me. He said, I'm the one who asked for skill-based matchmaking. I'm the reason why the game is the way it is. You put out you put out a tweet on social media, you're bound to get people who don't know what the fuck going on, but they they gonna find somebody to blame. They gonna blame me. So this person said it adds a whole new dimension to the game. Um, he said, I mean, I definitely get it, but but blowouts are few and far between now. Gotta swear almost every game, sweat almost every game for that W. 
A blowout every now and then would be nice, but 2K trying to make us play play. Um, that person said anyone. He said, why would you not want it? Serious question. Not going to lie, I prefer the close games and the random wreck is way more tolerable with it. Um, not anybody good at the game, apparently. Whole community crying about it is embarrassing. It's a new standard for competitive games nowadays. Look at Call of Duty now or Rocket League. Nothing but skill-based matchmaking. I never wanted it. SBMM has taken over all of our multiplayer faves, sadly. I'm also a part of the COD community. I'm guilty. I've been asking this in every rec random video since 2K23. Looks like they listened. Someone took fault. Someone someone stepped up on that ledge and said Shit like that. Shit like that. It was me. I'm sorry. I was one of them ones. There should be casual modes and comp modes. Only comp modes should include SB Shit and like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. That's where we get to the nitty motherfucking gritty. What is considered a comp mode versus a casual mode? Why is there always a divide? Hmm? Can players never get better? Can players not start out casual and then learn the game and become comp later? What would you consider comp? What would you consider casual? Because from 2K's standard, once you become a, I think a hooper on the game or, or a baller, one of those, you can no longer play on that goddamn casual court. Yeah, the one, the one that's in the park, you can no longer play on it. So what's the real difference between comp and casual? A stick skill, stage, game to game, stuff like that. Every game I play is a, <laughs> is a stage game. <laughs> now, okay, let's talk about that for a moment, right? So let's talk about the modes. So number one, Proving Ground. NBA 2K25, the, the, the entire team said that Proving Grounds was where they were going to turn off all the meters for everything, the green or die, um and you have to lock in and you get rep you get vc you get extra things from this okay i like that i like skill-based matchmaking for that pro-am i might ask hmm pro-am used to be the ranked mode for 3v3 and 5v5 standard stamped skill-based matchmaking I think I think they should have it. I went inside the uh, the the uh, pro am. I played a three v three game. I went up against a forty eight and nine team. Bitch, it was our first game. I'm a gold plate. Do you think I deserve that ass whooping? Hmm. Do you think I deserve to go up against a forty eight and nine team on my first game? You think I deserve that? Nigga don't even know his timing in there. I went two for three. I missed the first one, got the timing down, but that's because I played a game a lot. But do you think I deserve that ass whooping? Hmm? Do you think I deserve both the ass first game? Because of skill-based matchmaking? Hmm? Hmm? I'm just saying, if you're skillful on a game, you deserve to go against skill every time, right? Let's talk about theater for a moment. You go into the theater. People complained since theater's been out. Theater ain't even been out that damn long. Theater ain't even been out that long and everyone complained that they were playing with bums against comp. Comp come in with their friends and we got to play against these bums. I'm sorry, play with these bums against comp. Now they put skill-based matchmaking in the theater. Do you think theater deserves skill-based matchmaking because of all the complaints and harsh statements that it got? Because guess who was using the theater to run up their motherfucking builds? Comp. They came in and they ran that 1v1 fucking mode. Every time that fucking 1v1 shit popped up, every compy sweaty, just bl hand blistered ass motherfucker came to the 1v1 and got right with y'all every time. So, in a sense, if people are going to use certain modes to further their agenda, don't you think it should be skill-based matchmaking? Or are you on the side of saying, oh no, 
I want to go to the theater and beat on people. Shit like I don't that. want skill based like matchmaking in there. Like I want to be able to go in with my golds and my reds and beat on those blacks and browns. This shit, it sounds crazy when you say it out loud. But yeah. Hmm. Shit like Same. that. Shit like that. Shit no. like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. <sighs> those are the modes. But the park is completely different. The park, you have a choice. The park, you the park is where you can find those lesser players to play up against. But you know how long you gotta fucking wait on the dots? Forgot next. Um. Um. I done seen motherfuckers complain about eight minute wait times for a game. I sat on the fucking dots for 40 minutes while I watched these bum ass teams run that fucking shit up for 40 minutes back and forth brick after brick, nigga. You would have thought these niggas was general contractors out there the way they was fucking this court up. Bricks everywhere. But you know what I said, right? Oh, no, these niggas is food. I need that run. This about to be barbecue chicken. So I waited with that 40 minutes. But I understand. You go inside somewhere in a lobby system. You don't want to wait eight minutes. Of course, I get it. I get it, Hank. We'll, we'll talk about Hank's. I, I think it was Hank. Or was it Badge? I think it was Badge. Or was it? I think it was Hank. It was somebody. Or was it Power? I think it was Power. I think it was Power. I believe it was Power. I'm running with, I'm running with that it was Power. For sure. For sure. It was Power. But. Let's look at some more replies. Most of us did, but not in every mode though. We just wanted a ranked mode. Don't see the issue with skill-based matchmaking in 2K. When niggas run around they gums on X talking about they comp and going crazy win streaks beating on folks who that not that good at the game and put them in their next compilation video. SBMM needs to just have faster matchmaking, not to get rid of it. The comp axed. Somebody said I did. I hope the devs don't take it away. Mm. Every single person besides the scared players. They got that in 2K now. He, do, he doesn't even play the game. The problem is the criteria they use. Win percentage should be included. SBMM criteria being a banner only is stupid. It enables smurfing. Remember we talked about smurfing? Huh? Remember that? Remember we had a conversation a little while ago about smurfing? Yeah. That's what happens. Smurfs. Mm -hmm. I'm glad it's in the game. Play against your level. I don't get dumb teammates no more. And I'm only playing with people that move the ball around and play basketball. Me. I run two businesses and clock 60 plus hours. When I fire up the PS5 for two hours in a weekend... I don't want to play against niggas who treat the game as a job or make content. Sweaty niggas should be matched with sweaty niggas. If you play a lot, play against other niggas who do. He's standing on business. Yeah, that chat, he's standing on business. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Not a soul, nope. And besides, Unk, you are a casual. So I'm sure you are getting matched up with the same casual level players. His name is SBMM Merchant, bro. His at name is Skill Based Matchmaking, bro. No way, bro. That's troll as fuck. Me, matchmaking was pretty much non existent before. Now it's too strict. They just uh, suck at implementing common sense. Makes me think their engineers get no say or don't last long at visual concepts. Shit like that. Shit like that. Damn, that's shit a hot like ass that. tape, bro. Like that. Shit like that. Oh shit. Dom work. Badge plug. Badge now is lying. He never asked it. Badge plug. You ask for skill based matchmaking, G? Ah. Uh, badge plug. They boy. They boy. They said you asked for a badge. Did, hey, hey, chat. Did badge plug ask for it? Did the badge plug ask for a uh, motherfucking skill based matchmaking? Just stay a casual and you're good. 
2K skill-based matchmaking is weak compared to CODs. It's based off rank, and you stay casual or hooper, you'll be fine. People with no squad. All these so-called comp players, now they are crying like hoes. This man. Hold up, Agent X for skill-based matchmaking? Did he? I don't know. Bum. <laughs> Didn't everyone beg for it? <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day when people complain about going against their own skill level. I think this is the answer you're looking for. Ooh. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Hold on. I'll, I'll open this up. All right. I'll, we'll look at that in a minute. Uh, Skill-based matchmaking is good on 2K. Shaking Bake 101 is trying to move back in the... You content creators beg for it. See how he did that? See how he did that? That's like calling somebody an N-word. That's like that's like calling somebody an F-word, bro. You, you see what he did? Bro, the term content creator is now a derogatory term, bro. You call me that shit, bro. I'm 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 gonna have words, bro. I feel like I'm being attacked. That is a fucking hate crime. At this point, at th I'm sorry, Chad. This is just me. That's the way I feel. He said, you content creators beg for it. That's like saying, you, you, that's what that's like. That's what it feels like. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It, it might just be me, but I, I feel attacked. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. They literally added a rank mode, but buff SBMM, that's dumb. Me, all of us. <laughs> One red mic. Whoa, he called him the R word. Oh my God, bro. And this game is already dead. Show probable spam. Let me let me let me look at the spam and see if if it's if it's fine. Okay, all right. It looks it looks fine. Nigga, I never went I never went to chat and did a. Oops. It's to combat Zenners eventually. All they will play is each other. Okay. Uh, EVB talked uh talked that comp win percentage. S for years. Um, oh, everybody. Okay. Um, now we get to match up versus the same type of players. Now it's a problem. Please don't let these streamers get their way. Great game so far. If you look at COD, Madden, comp players, they don't cry like these spoiled 2K players. Hmm. Life is skill based matchmaking, should only be improving rounds. All right. Now, there are a few um I actually want to look at let's see if uh this is good. Okay, um this should be fine to show. Um <laughs> you influencers. <laughs> um yeah, I barely have any complaints or problems with NBA 2K25, but the one that I'll die on a hill is to get skill-based matchmaking out the game modes besides rank pro am and proving grounds. The higher talented people slash rep grinders are going to find ways to avoid SBMM anyways with uh, the black brown plate builds. Um, just let the rest of us not get affected by taking it out for the rest of the moves. The wait times, the super try hards when people are just trying to get double rep, etc. All play in hand of people having a very unhappy experience on 2K25. Okay. Um, I hope 2K can adjust the skill based matchmaking, but it's probably not going away. Most popular multiplayers have skill based matchmaking and casual slash rank. It's become the standard and proven to keep the player retention despite how much we debate it. There's just definitely needs to be an adjustment for the 60 overall method. SBM has killed NBA 2K25. I've been waiting hella long to get games in all modes. Okay. I never liked the comp or <clears throat> meta style play of 2K. The stage was never fun to me. It's so repetitive in terms of gameplay and in lineups, but with SBMM and 25, that's what I'm forced to play against every game. I'm at a severe disadvantage, not running the meta lineup or style of play. I don't want to do that. I just want to hoop with the people I enjoy spending my time with, but I can't enjoy my time because time playing the game 
when that's the situation I'm in. I had to apologize to my IRLs last night because I was having them play against mainly red banners in the wreck. I have nowhere to play casually. Damn, Koza. Fucked up. Um. Oh, yeah. See, he even got a uh, tweet out. Mm. Everybody, yo. So hold on. I got a question. No, no, no. Two, two excellent. Appreciate that prompt sub too. Go so chat. Like, how do you like? Is every creator mad about the matchmaking, or are they just voicing their opinion against it? Trying to make sure that, you know what I'm saying? Like they can they can figure it out or something. Chalk says skill-based matchmaking is ruining 2K25. Can't believe these dudes are crying about SBMM on NBA 2K. You would never please the 2K community. Don't take out skill-based matchmaking. People have gotten famous for picking and cheesing on casuals. And now the casuals are having a better experience Make them continue to be what they say they are or take the L's they've been giving out for years. This fucking tweet is hilarious. This tweet is fucking hilarious, bro. Yo, I'm not going to lie, bro. Yo, it's no more praying on the week, bro. It's over. No more praying on the week, chat. <laughs> no more fucking praying on the week, bro. Let me see if uh, I'm going to type in media. Uh, I've spent half my time sitting here for the event last year. I was playing all day with randoms. Now I can't get one teammate. Skill-based matchmaking making it impossible to get games. Every game I've played, which hasn't been a lot, has been straight sweats. Every win-loss has been by one or two points. Uh, let's see. Take out SBMM. We we have all of the grinders and, and competitive players playing on casual bills to exploit it anyways. This idea was a fail. Revert SBMM so we can use our actual builds again. Damn, they really got Tassino on a motherfucking black plate, bro. Golly, bro. <laughs> bro, they got Tassino on a fucking black plate, man. Jeez. Fox, we'll go. Look, look at this. This is what 2K25 is, chat. Here we go. Here's the matchup, bro. 99 against right, so me. And Enzo out. versus a 63. Holy shit. 2K25 in one, one single game. You know what's going to happen, so chat? They got Dex one off black of plate. Here we one, go. Oh, he's one red. Oh, Fox will go. So look, look that's at this. how, this that's how they get game. Is, chat. Here we go. Here's the matchup, bro. 99 against me and Enzo versus a. That's tough. So glad I'm not a red plate, guys. I'm just a fucking casual. <laughs> I'm just a goddamn casual. This is this is what I will say, and uh. I'll, I'll end that I'll end that little combo there with the whole skill based matchmaking thing. When it comes to skill based matchmaking, almost every video game has brought it to the fold of their game because people have exploited and pooped on people who want to play the game because essentially 2K wants their player base or every video game that matter, whether it's Activision, whether it's Epic Games, whether it's fucking, uh, who is that? Ubisoft, like, whom, like, it don't matter what game company conglomerate you are, you want players on your game. You want a huge player base. Now, granted, every good player that's good at the game they want they want better for themselves right because it's their experience right they're super good at the game so they want you know a good experience for them 
maybe people can't get up to their level and that's something that they have to deal with right but what it comes down to is i'm not even going to say it's, it's this is 2k's decision but any video game company is going to outweigh 30 players or like under like 300 will always you know what i'm saying outshine that so like if it's 300 people saying that they rather keep skill-based matchmaking in the game because they're having fun doing that over the 30 people who are complaining about it and not being able to get games and stuff like that and having to resort to different you know things then the 300 outweigh the 30. that's just what people are going to be looking at from a business standpoint is it is it right no but that's just what people have to deal with. Now, I'm not sure if 2K is going to revert the skill-based matchmaking on all lobby system modes, but mainly every video game that's out there that's multiplayer online, if there's a lobby system there, skill-based matchmaking is there as well. So, you know, um, one thing that I can say is, like, for COD, right? Um, I play I play COD, and, you know, uh, Rick Wavy Ross um, plays with us. Um, his name is like Two God Dre on uh, COD. He's like level 860. His his fucking kill death ratio is above two. And we get thrown in his lobbies. Every time he's on our team, the fucking sweatiest of sweats come out. Does it ruin our experience as a team? No. Nah. Sometimes we laugh. Sometimes we cry. But for the most part, we just keep pushing. We just keep having fun on the game because... Essentially, we're all playing together. I think 2K, they, I, I believe that our community will not feel that way. Our community will suffer more than thrive, if that makes sense. Because even though we all have a huge voice in this 2K community, there are certain people who have a bigger platform. But we all have the same voice but they just have a bigger platform to use their voice. So it just makes it seem like it's a really, really big problem. And I'm sorry to say that they just can't get games. It sucks. Like I watched, I watched somebody, I think, I, I believe it was power. I matter of fact, let me search it on Twitter. I believe power sat there for eight minutes in a one V one and, and, and literally just sat there trying to, trying to get a game. Okay. Yeah. This is it right here. Um, yeah. So this is the video. This is a this minute this video is eight and a half minutes. He sat in his lobby the entire time. He sat in his lobby the entire time. You know what I'm saying? As soon as going okay. into the theater into the one v one, sat there the entire time and got until he got a game against another red plate. You know what I'm saying? So like like it's definitely a problem. You know what I'm saying? Because people can't get games, but I believe that that's the reason why 2K did it that way, because they know like all right, well, you won't be able to beat on other competition and they'll be able to have their fun and other people that are in the middle. You know what I'm saying? That's why, like, I told y'all that the whole Squad Finder thing is supposed to be something that's going to be really good for the game because Squad Finder hasn't really been used like that yet because people aren't touching it. Like, you go into certain modes, you're not looking for a squad. Most of the time, people already have they two, they already have they three, or they, are, they, are, they just got themselves a 1v1. But I encourage people, if you are on NBA 2K, use the Squad Finder feature. As soon as you get to the lobby, see if you can message that person or add them as a friend or write down their name or whatever the case may be. And you look at their stats or whatever and say, yo, do you want to run games later? Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just came here to find people to run with later. Like, I'll be on at 7, but I just want to see if people were online. Like, people are going to have to start building relationships with other people to get games. And, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you already have teammates stacked, then I'm telling you it's gonna be it's gonna be up. It's gonna be up. Um what's good? You say you're not complaining about getting I'll play I, I completely understand that. But um again, definitely go in, think about everything that you that you uh that you want from 2K and see if like what what side you land on. Are you for skill-based matchmaking or are you against it? I'm always going to tell you guys I'm in the middle of everything. I really could care less. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, I'm not sweating this game. I'm not chasing Legend. So, like, if I'm not chasing Legend, which means if you're chasing Legend, that means you win a shit ton of games. You know what I'm saying? Because you're playing a shit ton of games. People have over 
two thousand games played on this video game already. But if you're chasing something and you're a red plate, like it's gonna suck. It's gonna suck. It, you're gonna have to spend more time in a park getting ran from than you're gonna spend in those lobby systems. Like you know what I'm saying, either you're gonna you're gonna go to the park and just wait on them dots, and because the lobby system is dead to you. Sorry to say. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong.